campaigning ended on Friday. We then entered this period of electoral silence until uh, the polls opened early on um, Sunday morning. We don't expect there to be too many people turning up early in the day, and that is mainly because uh, in a country where a large majority of people still identify themselves as religious, they go to places like this first, this church behind me in central Warsaw, and then through the day, uh, many people will head on uh, to cast their vote in an election which many here and across uh, Europe are seeing as a pivotal election for Poland. Uh, that is why uh, there is talk here uh, in, the, in the media amongst observers. Potentially we're looking at a high turnout here. Uh, the polls close at 9 p.m. local time and just a few moments after that we'll be seeing our first exit polls. But essentially on the one side you have this right-wing nationalist party, the Law and Justice Party, they came to power in 2015, promising to, to reshape Poland really and over the course of the past four years uh, during a period of uh, continued robust economic growth one of their key programs has been bolstering social spending for a section of the population that they say has not benefited enough uh, throughout Poland's uh, liberal transformation since the end of the Cold War and the fall of the Berlin Wall. The other is between Warsaw and European Union institutions because uh, during the course of the past four years uh, the, the nationalist government here has often been at loggerheads with Brussels uh, over some of the reforms it's implemented uh, and looking to bring in uh, in Poland.